Heavyweight boxing fans, what's the deal? All right, man. So I'm sitting here looking at these rankings on uh, Fight News. And um, a fighter who's going to creep up these rankings, well, he's already, cre he's already creeping up the rankings, especially in the uh, WBA. Alexander Pavekin. He's number five with the WBA. He's number 12 with the IBF. And he is number eight by the WBO. WBC, he is yet to be rated there. He's still out of their rankings, okay? Now, I already know what a lot of you are going to say. You're going to say, Mr. Boxing, he's a drug cheat. Why would anybody want to get in the ring with him? I would not put my fighter in the ring with him. You don't know what he has in his system. Fair enough. But my answer to that would be, you have Amir Mansoor, who has, not only did he raise his hand to fight him, he raised both hands to fight Pavekin. Pavekin and his team chose to go with Radinko instead. Radinko got in the ring with him and fought him, went the 12 rounds. Johan Duopa stepped in on short notice and fought him. Shannon Briggs is also somebody else that has said that, uh, according to Briggs, they're in talks right now to possibly fight Pavekin around November. Um, I don't know how serious the talks are. That's according to Shannon Briggs. All right. So that right there lets you know that these there's guys out there that's not scared of him, regardless of what drug test history he's had. Now, some of you may say, oh, well, shit, it's Shannon Briggs. He just got um, caught for something. So, you know, he wouldn't be scared. Uh, some of you may use the uh, point that Mansoor and Briggs are both, what, 45 and, what, 48 or some shit years old. They're both in their 40s. So maybe they're looking for a big payday and, and a shot to fight Pavekin with just a big payday. That's fine. Those may be the reasons. But my thing is this, man. He's still rated. It's not like he's not in the rankings. You know, it's not like uh, any of that. Usually guys get a decent payday when they fight him. And if you go on box rec, for whatever it's worth, you know, for, you know, box rec has them right behind Anthony Joshua at number two. What I'm saying is this, I would want to be the guy that knocks him out, that puts an end to Pavekin, that, that, uh, you know, cause I, I, I don't think he's going to go away unless he comes up with another faulty drug test. But, uh, I haven't heard Jarrell Miller say that he will fight Pavekin. You know, so one of these guys, man, need to start calling out Pavekin and try to get a fight with Pavekin. I like to see a man, man, sore fight Pavekin. You know, he he wants to fight him. Um, he's rated number 15 by the WBO. Shannon Briggs, he was in these WBA rankings. He got took out. He got uh, took out the rankings. You know, so uh, I don't know, man. Some of these guys need to start calling out Alexander Pavekin. You know, I want to see Jarrell Miller fight Dillian White. Uh, if they don't fight, shit, somebody call out Pavekin, man. You know, Dillian White was going to fight, trying to get a fight with Lucas Brown. Lucas Brown got uh, two drug tests, you know, two drug testing issues. One got dropped, one stuck, the Clem, the uh, Clembuterol. Uh, that's the one that messed up the Shannon Briggs fight. So, uh, yeah, man, I wonder why people ain't calling out Pavekin. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They call out Lucas Brown. Why ain't nobody calling out Pavekin, man? I want to see somebody fight Pavekin. You fight Pavekin, your uh, stock is going to rise. I think you'll get a, a good payday. And uh, take that aura away from him. You know, be you know be that guy that, uh, along with Klitschko, was able to stop Pavekin. And to take the truth, man, before all these drug testing issues and all this shit was coming up, some of you guys probably remember this that was following my channel, but for some of you new subscribers, before, this was like the lead up to the Wilder fight, before, you know, everything started happening. I thought Pavekin at this time had the second best resume at the division behind Klitschko. This is before all the drug tests and stuff came out. I thought he had the second best resume. Um, and I still think that's a valuable win. I really do. But I get it, you know, some fans say, hey, man, he's a drug cheat. He shouldn't be fighting. I would never put my guy in the ring with him and so on and so. That's cool, man. But there are guys out there that have came out and said they would fight this guy.
that are not scared of him, that are not, they want to knock his ass out. They don't want him to be um, removed uh, by sanctioning body. No, they 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 want to they want him to be removed. Uh, do from them putting hands on him, knocking him out, getting him out of there that way. You know, so I still want to see Pavekin in a big fight. Of course, I want him to come in. I want everybody to come in clean. So, of course, I want that. So, I want the drug testing for him and his opponent, you know. Uh, but I want to see him. I want to see somebody beat him if they can do it. Then we can really get rid of him. You know, but that's just my opinion. Curious to hear you guys' opinion in the comment section about this. Who are some guys you would like to see Pavekin fight? Um, I would like to see him fight. Although Pulev is fighting Anthony Joshua, I still want to see the Pulev Pavekin fight. I've been wanting to see that for a while. Um, uh, but Pavekin, man, I mean, shit, somebody in there tough. Like guys like uh, Charles Martin. I think Pavekin beats Charles Martin. I think Pavekin, he already beat Carlos Takam. I think he can beat a lot of these guys, man. I, I, I would favor Pavekin over Dillian White. I'll, prob I'll possibly favor him over Jarrell Miller. I'm not saying that those guys couldn't beat him, but going into the fight, I will at least um, edge him in those fights. I could be wrong. That's why I want to see him get beat by somebody. You know what I'm saying? Or see if somebody can actually whoop his ass. You know? Um, again, with strict drug testing for both fighters. You know? But maybe Miller and Dillian White, maybe they can beat him. But I would, on paper, I would edge him going into those fights. Edge. I'm not saying he'll go in there and whoop their ass. I, I just think uh, he's more polished than those guys at that style of coming forward. And I think he has a very good chin. A very good chin, man. Um, just my opinion. Just my opinion, man. But what do you guys think? Do you want to see him fight? Are you like, hey, man, the hell with Pavekin? Or do you want to see him fight and get beat by somebody? Or, you know, fight somebody you think they can beat him? You know, but uh, I think he, you know, he already beat Marius Wok. I think he beats uh, Tresura, Johan. Well, he knocked Dua Pa out already. I think he beats Christian Hammer. A lot of these guys I think he'll beat, man. A lot of these guys I'm seeing ranked. Ajit Kabayel, Tom Schwartz, Fujimoto. I think he beats them dudes. Otto Wallen, he destroys him. I think he destroys BJ Flores. I thought I heard something about him and Flores. I hope that's not true. Hope, hopefully that's just a rumor. Um, Demetrenko, yeah. I want to see him fight, you know, somebody like Miller, White, Brazil. I know Brazil has Stavern coming up and stuff like that. But I, I still want to see Pavek in, in one of these fights, man. Amir Mansour, I'd like to see that one. But y'all let me know what you think in the comment section about all this, man. I'm out.